Welcome to Year of South Florida's July 2020 graduation. My name is Angelisca Cecilgado, and I am a proud graduate of Year of South Florida class of 2019. Tonight, I am honored to serve as your MC for our first ever virtual graduation. We encourage you to share your experience on social media using the hashtag YUGrads. Europe is ensuring young adults to gain the skills, experience, and support that will empower them to reach their potential through professional careers and higher education. By closing the opportunity divide, Europe's goal is to connect young adults without access to stable career pathways to companies in need of talent. You may be asking, what is the opportunity divide? Well, 5 million young adults in this country lack access to higher education and careers that provide a living wage. At the same time, U.S. businesses have 12 million jobs available for trained, talented individuals. In South Florida alone, there are 70,000 young adults that could fill 270 middle skill jobs. Though these numbers seem daunting, they represent a tremendous opportunity. We are here tonight to celebrate the epic young adults who seized that opportunity, completed their year of training, and are now joining the workforce. So, please give it up for Europe South Florida's class of July 2020. Welcome to your graduation, class 15. Congratulations on this exciting achievement. As an alumnus of Europe South Florida, I understand what it's taken to get here tonight. During my Europe experience, I gained a skill that has changed my life. Confidence. Not being afraid to speak up and never backing down from a challenge. We could be our own worst critics, but through my coaches and the education provided at Europe, I achieved becoming my own biggest fan. I am really proud of you and know that you will continue to lift as you climb. To begin our program this evening, I'd like to welcome Lucia Angelis, Site Director. Thank you, Angelis. Uh, we are so proud of you, especially me, um, as I was able to serve as your coach and just seeing your experience at HBO Latin America as an intern and then seeing you work full time for them is very rewarding and we are very, very proud of you and so happy to have you with us today at our graduation. I want to thank everyone this evening for joining us for all the culmination of Class 15's journey. I'd first like to thank everyone that makes this work possible. Miami-Dade College faculty and staff, our internship partner, donors, volunteers, our amazing staff, and of course, our board members. Each of you help our students become the success, right? Through your unwavering gifts of time, your talent, and all of your treasures. Since 2012, Europe South Florida has supported nearly 800 young adults, and we're thrilled that so many of our graduates remain active in, in closing this opportunity movement in our community here. And we thank the amazing Europe South Florida alumni for always lifting as you climb. Lastly, our graduates would not be here if it were not for all their family and friends. So we thank you for supporting them through this journey. And we especially thank you for allowing us to be part of their lives through their Europe experience. Class 15, I remember the first time I met you at orientation and there was lots of passion and grit and motivation. And we have had such a challenging roller coaster of a year, needless to say, right? From orientation, going into classes, teachable moments that we had, contract conversations, and um, business plan, internship announcements, and then we got hit with this pandemic. And what I will say to all of you is that all of those things that I saw through orientation, that passion, that grit, and that motivation still is through, is true, sorry, through everything that we're experiencing now. I'm very, very proud of you. 
And now on your graduation day, you are ready to enter your professional career and embark on, on this new chapter in your life. Uh, you know, the theme you selected it's up from here is a perfect one, right? You have no other options. You will continue to grow and you will continue to have much more celebratory moments like this one as you continue to, to achieve um, great goals that you have set for yourself. So as you continue to grow, my ask to you is to remember that you can make a difference in the lives of those around you. Continue to pave a way by illuminating a path for folks to be able to go through the self-discovery that you have gone through yourself. Um, so it's been an honor to support you. I'm so proud of every single one of you. And I wanna say, like I always say, once year up, always year up, and we will always be here for you. Now we have a very short video from one of our uh, college presidents from Miami-Dade College, Dr. Gonzalez. Hello, Sharks. I'm Dr. Beatrice Gonzalez, president of the Wolfson campus of Miami-Dade College, and I'm so happy to congratulate the Year Up class of 2020. What great work you've accomplished. You are winners. It's in your DNA, and we're so proud of you. And now it's time for the next great thing, and we can't wait to watch what you do. Thank you, Dr. Gonzalez, and thank you to your amazing team at Miami-Dade. We certainly would not be able to do this work without you. And now I'd like to welcome my colleagues, John Mara Yut and Juan Garcia to present the awards of our corporate and community partners. Thank you, Lucia. Bonsoir and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Yut. I am the Associate Director of Student Services for U of South Florida. We are here to present awards to a group of organizations that have made a huge difference for class 15. To begin, one will present the Business Partner Award. Thank you, John, and good evening to all, and thank you for being here with us in such a special day for our students. The Business Partner Award acknowledges a partner that invests time and resources to significantly contribute to the success of the Europe program, and more importantly, our Europe students. This honoree has hosted over 80 South Florida interns to date. They have continually reinforced our awesome partnership by increasing the number of interns, hiring talented alumni, volunteering their time with our students, and much more. It is with great pleasure to present the July 2020 Business Partner Award to J.P. Morgan Chase. Congratulations, J.P. Morgan Chase team. Accepting the award are our good friends, Fernando Ruiz, Regional Director, Yvette Castro, Market Director, and Christian Reyes, Market Director. Hi everyone, from your friends here at J.P. Morgan Chase, we wanna thank Europe for our continued partnership and we look forward to many years of success and collaboration. We are so honored to be the recipients of this award. It was a true, true pleasure to work with this group of interns and we're so excited for the next class. And to our Europe interns, we hope you enjoyed your experience and we wish you much continued success. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Juan. Next, the Community Partner Award is presented in recognition for sharing resources and actively collaborating with Year Up. Through it, we acknowledge their service of our young adults and families, the selfless assistance with closing the opportunity divide and effort to further share vision. This partner is a steadfast advocate for young adults addressing youth homelessness to collective impact. They also provide opportunities for youth to lead on this issue with the Youth Voice Action Council. The council's leaders include one of our very own graduates tonight, Metav Toussaint. We are pleased to present the July 2020 Community Partner Award to the Homie Collective represented by Deborah Albo Steiger. Hello, I'm Deborah Albo Steiger and I work for Project Upstart in the Miami-Dade County Public Schools. And I also co-chair the Homie Collective's Education and Employment Committee. Thank you to Europe for awarding us the community partner. We're very excited to work with all of you in our Education and Employment Committee to prevent and end youth homelessness. To all of the Europe graduates, congratulations and we look forward to working with you to continue our fight to end and prevent homelessness in Miami-Dade County. 
Congratulations to the Homie Collective and thank you for your support. Now, for our final partner award, the Champion Award recognizes an individual or organization who has continually been a great ally by advocating for student success and supporting Europe in fulfilling our mission of closing the opportunity divide. Tonight, we are recognizing an organization who has been an instrumental partner and ambassador by hosting interns, donating computer store students, providing access to networking events, volunteering with us regularly, and leveraging their online and in-person networks to expand opportunities for our students. It is an honor to present the July 2020 Champion Award to Bilson Somber. Thank you and congratulations Bilson team, represented here by managing partner Al Dodson Jr. Hello Europe graduates, my name is Al Dodson. I am the managing partner of Bills and Sunberg, and we are very proud to be the recipient of the July 2020 Champion Award as a partner of Year Up. Uh, you've made us better people as a firm. You've made us a better firm on behalf of the work we do for our clients, and you've given us insight into a very different way of thinking that enhances our client services each and every day. So congratulations on this moment. It's a great moment to cherish. Great memories were made and great futures are ahead of you. Thank you again for the honor and have a wonderful rest of your celebration. Congratulations to all of you. We have one last surprise honor. This year, we had the pleasure of hosting a fellow from the Public Allies AmeriCorps program. Janessa Collins quickly became a vital member of our family. We are so grateful for her service, her generosity, and her kindness. Thank you, Janessa. Now, to present student awards and honors, we welcome Darlene Brown, Internship Services Manager, and Michael Laporte, Employment Woo! Placement Manager. Thank you, and good evening, everyone. We are pleased to present the July 2020 Graduate Honors. These awards hold a special place among Europe graduates, as many of the honorees are selected by fellow members of their graduating class. The first graduate honor, the Dave Reddick Award for Excellence, is presented to a member of each Europe graduating class around the country. The award was created in honor of Dave Reddick, a founding member of All Communications, one of Europe's first partners. Dave inspired others to excel and held incredibly high standards for his own actions and behavior. By consistently pursuing excellence in his own work, he encouraged others to do the same. This year's award, as chosen by their peers, drum roll please, goes to Carl. We're so proud of you. All right. The Chris Mello Award for Leadership is also presented to a member of Europe graduating class around the country. Remember for his dedication and competitive nature. Chris was a rising star at Alta Communications who established himself as an exceptional leader. He led with his actions, his commitment, his work ethic, and his integrity. Selected by their class, this year's Chris Mello Award for Leadership is presented to Joan Dorn. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. I'm pleased to present the next graduate honor, the Core Values Award. This award recognizes two students, one from each learning community that embrace the six year of core values, those that guide all aspects of our work. These students demonstrated commitment and keep their core values at the heart of all their work and studies. Representing pristine 15, Joshua Brady. Oh, Joshua. 
Go, Joshua. Go, Josh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Joshua. Representing Dream 15, Miss Ann Lewis. Now, I am thrilled to present the College Persistence Award. This award recognizes a student who has not only persisted, but has gone above and beyond in maintaining their commitment to both their education and internship experience. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Tajay Johnson. Yes. Congratulations, Tajay. And for this evening's final graduate award, we are truly honored to present an award established in memory of class of January 2016 alumnus, Adrian Barona. Co-created with Adrian's family and his internship site and employer, American Express. This award is meant to exemplify Adrian's spirit of humility, dedication, and hard work. It's been said that when Adrian smiled, the sky cracked open. Please join me in congratulating the Adrian Barona Memorial Award winner, Silvio Castro. Thank you, Silvio. Congratulations, Silvio. Oh, Silvio. 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 Well Thank deserved. You. Congratulations to all of our Class 15 honorees. Now we'll hand it back over to our MC, Miss Angelique. Wow. Thank you all. And congratulations to each of the impressive award recipients. Now, I'm excited to introduce our July 2020 graduate keynote speaker. Alonza Altador was selected by her classmates to represent Class 15's experience over the past year. Alana says, speaking up is my greatest strength. It allows me to preserve my sense of integrity and my values. Faith in myself has proven to be the greatest ally throughout my experience at Europe. However, I'm not a finished product. I'm rather a work in progress. Europe has taught me to embrace my curiosity and thirst for learning. As an avid learner, I find the possibilities are limitless to the road ahead. Therefore, there is no end in sight to how much I could develop myself. Please welcome Alonza. Greetings, friends, family, faculty, staff, alumni, and the illustrious year up class 15, you guys, we made it. I am very honored to have been chosen as keynote speaker tonight. And thinking about what to say to you all today, the word purpose and what it means has filled my spirit. We all have a purpose even if we're still striving to understand what that purpose is. There are approximately 5 million people who haven't progressed past the high school diploma, but have so much to offer. They're confined inside the cramped quarters of our urban communities with a tremendous amount of obstacles to overcome. Homelessness, violence, lack of resources, drugs, hunger, lack of support, and the list goes on and on, and they become so easy to ignore and overlook. Meanwhile, corporations across America are desperately looking for talented people. There are about 12 million jobs that are left unfilled as a consequence of social and education forces limiting access to economic opportunity to these individuals. Take a second to really think about that. Five million, job, five million young adults looking for jobs and 12 million jobs looking for young adults. That is exactly where the opportunity divide emerges. Talent is equally distributed, but the opportunity is not. So when I'm asked how Europe has impacted my life it is not just me who I'm answering for, it is for all of us. Year Up provides us 
a permanent solution. When I initially heard about the program through a friend, I read up on it, I said, this is great, and I quickly applied. The following day, Dennis was blowing up my phone, and I said, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? These people won't leave me alone. And I continued to ignore his calls and his messages for weeks and weeks and weeks. But when I finally decided that I wanted Year Up to be part of my path, when I decided that I wanted Year Up to put me onto its path of success, whether I recognized it or not, I was walking towards my purpose. This journey has not been easy for any of us. There have been tough times, moments filled with uncertainty, doubt, and even anger. But what men and women like my mother, my father, my teachers, my mentors, my friends, and you, my peers, have taught me is that there will be times when you seemingly face intractable obstacles, but that's when you dig deep into your soul for the courage and the strength to keep going and to never forget that despite life's detours, you are destined for greatness. Allow me to share a quick story with you all. Let me first set the scene. It was internship announcement day. My nerves were at an all time high. My name had finally been called. I was excited and I was frightened. And then they announced my internship. Let me just tell you guys that day, I went home in tears. I was angry. I was so caught up in myself and what I thought I had deserved. And for a second or two, I failed to see Year Up's purpose. My experiences at the Miami-Dade Medical Campus, although short, were like no other. I was surrounded by individuals who were so eager to challenge me in order to help me, to teach me, and to lift me. At times, our purpose drops in our laps as if the heavens threw it by accident. My purpose tonight is to say thank you. Thank you to our Year Up community for giving us all the opportunity and the space to grow. Looking back to the very beginning at orientation, where we began this journey, the room varied with emotions. But it also seemed like every day, within that first week, we all begun to grow. Whether that meant breaking out of our shells to embrace the uncomfortability, or learning to step back and allowing others to take the lead. Through the weeks, I've seen so much progress within all of us. We've gained support systems and have built friendships with people we would have never imagined. We have truly learned what it means to be a community, to hold each other up and accountable. By continuously having each other's backs, we've impacted one another in ways we might have not even realized. We've influenced and challenged one another to be the strongest and best versions of ourselves day in and day out. We have grown together and we have taught each other. The things that we say, do, and the way we arrive every day and to continue to give so much into this experience has really made a difference. Although we've lost a number of us, they are still to be commended and celebrated because they have also contributed to our experiences here and they are still part of our Europe family. As a Haitian immigrant and first generation college woman, fear is my motivation. Mm -hmm. The fear of falling into the trap of poverty that I was raised in. I am continuously striving to overcome any barriers that prohibit me from being successful. I am continuously striving to reach my full potential. I am not only dedicated, 
but I am determined to grab any occasion that can positively impact my life. And in speaking things into existence, four years from now, I will have graduated from the University of Miami with my bachelor's in computer engineering. And four years after that, I intend to start a nonprofit organization. An organization with a keen focus in challenging and changing the computing world. I want to inspire little girls of color to stop seeing life in black and white for there is strength in numbers. My passion for nurturing and integrating the youth from our communities transcends any boundary society may impose upon me, for I refuse to let them and us continue to become statistics. Today, I want to challenge you all to fight, to work, to embrace all of your challenges with arms wide open, to remember from this moment on, from this day forward, it is only up from here because you have so much to offer the world and there is no limit to the love you can share, to the happiness you can aspire. And because the world looks so marvelous and so wonderful from up here, thank you. Woo! Woo! So proud of you. Yes! Alonza! Yes! Yes! Beautiful! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. So awesome. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. I, I'm less speechless right now. Like <laughs> that was great. Alonza, thank you so much for sharing your story. Now we welcome program managers Quincy Doucet and Sonia Hurtado Ureño to present the graduates of class 15. Thank you so much, Angelise. Wow, what a tough act to follow. Thank you so much, Alonsa. My name is Quincy and I'm, a prou I'm proud to serve as the program manager for the Pristine 15 Learning Community. And I am Sonia Hurtado Ureño, program manager of the Dream 15 Learning Community. And together we are really excited to recognize each graduate. Uh, hola, muy buenas tardes. Antes de todo, me gustaría tomar un segundo para reconocer a nuestras familias presentes y agradecerles por el apoyo que les han brindado a nuestros estudiantes este año. Ellos han trabajado muy duro y se merecen ser celebrados al igual que a ustedes. Quincy will start us off with Pristine 15 graduates. Thank you so much, Sonia. Family and friends, please note that graduates will be presented in alphabetical order by first name. Class 15, let's do this. Alonza Altador. Woo! <laughs> Come in the game. Alex Dios yes, Michael. Alexandra, congrats. Alondra Nunez. Yeah, Alondra. Alondra. <laughs> Andy. Joel Magalor. Joel. 
Joshua Breedy. Yes, Joshua, Mr. Breedy. Jude. Oh, no, you Last one on Oh, yes. Mark Moreau. Oh, that's Mark. Oh, yeah. Melanie, Melanie. Yeah, you did it. Melanie. All right. <laughs> Lozier point to Joy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. MacArthur Such a perfect smile, boy. Nakaya Stevens. Nakaya! Congratulations! Nathan Bowman. Mr. Nathan! Woo! Nathan! Yeah, yeah, Nathan! Nigel Nice. Yeah, Nigel! Woo! Woo! Omar Bardo. Oh, his hair is long! Oh, wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Wow! to present Dream 15 graduates. Thank you, Quincy. We'll go ahead and start it off with Agnes Carrera. Agnes! Yes, Agnes! Agnes! Alejandro Alfonso. Alejandro! Alvaro Alba. Ann Lewis. Yes, Ann! <laughs> Anthony Thompson. Ryan Dorville. Ryan Dorville. Brian. Caesar Diaz. Ezekiel Pierre. Gainsley Exantis. Jaden Rodriguez. John Jean Baptiste. Cooper. Kyla. 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 Thank you. 
Mitev Toussaint. Garcia. Yes, Filonia Pierre. That's my group member. Robert Maloney. Roberto Telles. Roberto. Selden Lewis. Yes, Go ahead, Selden. Ajay Johnson. That's another nice girl! Woo! And William Jean. William Jean! Congratulations to you all. Muchísimas felicidades. Uh, I cannot say that we are so proud of each and every single one of you. Now for the premiere presentation of a special video documenting our graduates' Europe journey. There are approximately 5 million people who haven't progressed past a high school diploma, but have so much to offer. They are confined inside the cramped quarters of our urban communities with a tremendous amount of obstacles to overcome, and they become so easy to ignore and overlook. There are about 12 million jobs that are left unfilled as a consequence of social and education forces limiting access to economic opportunity to these individuals. Take a second to really think about that. That is where the opportunity divide emerges. Talent is equally distributed, but the opportunity is not. For some of us, there were people in our lives who thought we would never get this far. For some, we lost so much that this year we didn't think we had the strength to pursue this opportunity. Now we are the ones to have to become part of the movement to close the opportunity divide. We all have seen each other grow up and become more mature. We carry ourselves higher than before, and now we in turn have to help lift others as we climb. I came to this country four years ago to have a better life and achieve the American dream. I felt after everything was against me, my life gave a turn in 360 degree and changed the rest of my life for better. The thing I didn't know was that in this program, I also built my personal life and I found a great personal and emotional support. When I look into your program, I realized that it was the best option to take advantage of for my financial career at the time. Then, everything started making sense for me. I joined Europe to help my family, to be the example for my sisters, and also to help my parents. I had no words to describe what Europe means for me. Trust the process. Before joining the Europe program, I was at a very difficult stage in my life. I was pretty much lost. After graduating high school, things in my life were just never going in the direction I wanted them to. Opportunities were just passing me by no matter how hard I chased them. And joining the program was going to be a very difficult decision as there are many challenges I would have to overcome. The appeal of Europe was always how involved they were with us students. They were always ready to provide support to any one of us that needed it. When the program told me that they would be able to work with me to cover my tuition, in that moment I knew that this was a different kind of opportunity and I could not let it pass and I had to take full advantage of what was in front of me. Europe was the positive turning point to turn my life around when it was going downhill. What really made my Europe journey special was not the great career opportunity I earned, but it was the amazing people I came across. So when I'm asked how Europe has impacted my life, it is not just me who I'm answering for, it is for all of us. Europe has provided us a permanent solution.
everyone, please join us in congratulating the Europe South Florida class of 2020. And now to present the Alumni Legacy Award and Alumni Association induction, please welcome Jalisa Maces, class of July 2018 and January 2020 Alumni Legacy Award winner. Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Jalisa Maces and I'm a graduate of class 10. Tonight I have the pleasure of presenting an award that signifies the importance of young leaders to the opportunity movement, the Alumni Legacy Award. This evening's final honor was conceived to recognize that continued support, perseverance, and compassion of a member of the Europe alumni community. This award serves to ensure that they are always acknowledged as a beacon of light and a driving force in our effort to close the opportunity divide. This particular alumnus has been a committed member of our community since graduating three years ago. They give their time and talent by volunteering regularly and serving as a welcoming face to the Europe alumni community. Since being hired at their internship site, World Fuel Services, they have served as a mentor and even supervisor to new Europe interns. I'm thrilled to present the Alumni Legacy Award to Jorge Gutierrez. Congratulations, Jorge. Together, we'll induct Class 15 into the Europe Alumni Association by reciting the pledge. July 2020 graduates, please follow along with Jorge as he repeats after me. I pledge that as a member, I pledge that as a member of the Europe Alumni Association of the Europe National Alumni Association that I will continue to uphold and promote I will continue to uphold and promote Europe's mission and core values Europe's mission and core values I will strive for excellence I will strive for excellence and realize my potential and realize my potential I will use my time and talents I will use my time and talents to contribute to the success of Europe, its students, and its alumni. To contribute to the success of Europe and its students and its alumni. I will take action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. I will take action in the movement to close the opportunity divide. I take this oath freely as a promise to lift while I climb. I take this oath freely as I promise to lift while I climb. And to be a lifelong ambassador of Europe. And to be lifelong ambassador of Europe. Please join me in congratulating the newest members of the Europe Alumni Network. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Jalisa and George. I'm honored to stand among you in the Europe alumni community. Congratulations once again to our Class 15 graduates. Thank you all for joining us. To conclude our program tonight, we have a surprise video from none other than Polo Coronado, our former executive director. Take us home, Polo. Class 15. Class of July 2020, you made it, and I am so proud of you. True character is revealed during challenging times, and what you have to endure reveals how talented, resilient, powerful, and inspiring you all are, as individuals and as a learning community. The world changed forever, and you raised up the occasion because this new normal is a moving target. You delivered. You transitioned into a virtual internship with conviction, with decision, with a clear why, adapting, applying critical thinking and teamwork, and above all, lifting others as you climb. Up from here, I know that's your class team. I am convinced up you will go, taking off, empowered, and with a clear why. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to share with you all the learning, all the wins, and sharing this amazing journey with me. Godspeed.